to use the glute machine this is the machine I'll be showing you I have two videos illustrating this machine how to use it the first one I recorded in April of 2015 when I was ready to edit it I couldn't find it so I re-recorded in May when I was ready to edit the May version I find the first one so I decided to put both in this video the reason I did this uh, well I will explain the reason for that at the end of the video just to show you uh, what two months uh, differences make when you focus on uh, improving certain part of your body now this is the first video which was recorded in uh, April um, as always I always adjust the weight and that's by pulling that yellow uh, clip from the weight stack then I adjust uh, the pad where my abdominal will be uh, you know resting on that's by pulling that yellow lever and you adjust it to according to your height and then uh, this is where you will be pushing this uh, I don't know what this call, but uh, you adjust it. For me, I like to put it as close as possible um, so I could have full range of motion. And now I'm just fixing my uh, crazy uh, leg pad because the where I rest my knees there, it's uh, ripped. Um, this you could also adjust to um, how you adjust it. Then you put your elbow onto that uh, elbow pad. And you hold on to that handle as I'm showing. And then uh, you take the other, I, I have to adjust this, it was a bit too low. So uh, once you do that, you put your feet, the one that's not on the pad, onto the, uh, I, like I said, I don't know what this is called. Um, this part and you push with your hip and uh, you push as far as you can and make sure it's your hip that's doing it not pushing it with your knees or with your feet or something like that because you this one is for your butt so you want to grow and uh, shape your butt you want the initial push of the bar with your hip Okay, now I'm showing uh, how to adjust the uh, knee area, knee pad. You pull that yellow lever and then you push the pad to the other side to uh, for the other leg that uh, you're going to be, that will be resting on it. So each side, each leg needs to do that. So you don't want to do one and then you have one side of your butt cheek that's uh, well defined and the other one is flat. So you have to do both sides. <laughs> And uh, you do a couple repetitions, and uh, that's about it. And I'm gonna show a recap of this version um, of the video, and then I'm gonna show you the next uh, version that I recorded in, um, in May.
Uh, this is the second video that I recorded in May 17. Um, again, I started with adjusting the weight. Uh, once I adjusted, I uh, go to the back to adjust the bar. I'm calling it a bar now. Um, I adjust it. Like I said, I like to put it uh, as close as possible so I could have full range of motion. Then I adjust the pad where my abdominal will be resting. And that's by pulling that yellow uh, tab, that lever, um, to adjust it. Then you could move it up or down according to your height. And this is just for me, for my knees. I need to cover my knees. Then I put my knees on the pad and then I hold the handle as I'm showing. Once I settle myself into the machine, I put the feet, uh, the foot that's about to, that will be pushing that uh, bar. As you can see, I push as far as I can. And I try to push uh, with my hip. The initial push should be done with the hip. Okay, you push it as far as you can. And of course, your knees is going to be involved, the different muscles, you know, is going to be involved. But the initial push should be done with the hip because that's where um, this part of the muscle, your glutes, uh, you want to improve. So it has to, that's your primary muscle that uh, you want to improve. Then any other muscles that get involved or secondary, uh, it's okay. But try to do the initial push with the hip. Then once I'm done, I pull that yellow lever to adjust the knee pad area. And that's pulling the yellow lever up and then push the pad to the side that you want. And, you know, since I like to put the bar so close, it's usually hard to get into. But I like to do it like that so I could get full range of motion. So by the time I reach uh, halfway, I still have more... Um, motion, more, you know, movement to go to, but I don't let the bar rest. So the weight is still pushing onto my, uh, you know, my feet. So I'm trying to resist it uh, with uh, my quad, my butt, all those muscles that are trying to resist it from being resting. So that's why I like to put those machines as close as possible. So that's about it. And now I'm just going to show the full video. Um, again.
Now, this is the reason I decided to put both videos into this uh, uh, YouTube thing. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, in February, I was making a smoothie before I go out. And I saw a picture of my butt and I realized how flat my butt is. So, uh, I don't really focus too much on my glutes. But every now and then, I will do little things here and there to focus primarily on it. You know, I do squats, deadlifts, and different things. So, uh, I decided to do a couple uh, butt exercises. And uh, as you can see, some of other pictures that I posted on, face on Instagram. And you could see uh, how my butt was shaped. It's very flat. So now I decided to take some clips out of the videos that I um, just showed you to see. You know, it's not that great. My butt is not that great. But you could see the improvement when you focus on trying to improve certain part of your body. You know, I showed you a couple clips from the first video. And uh, I took a snapshot of the second part of the video to show you. You could see a little bit of curve uh, from my glutes and this is why I decided to put both of them on this video so you could see the improvement um, you know that picture that I showed uh, where I was making the smoothie and I have great ham hamstring uh, it's really well it's, I like the way it looks but my butt was not equal equally as good as my hamstring and my quad so Every now and then I decided to do a little bit of uh, uh, butt exercise at the gym. So that's the reason I decided to put uh, both uh, videos. I mean, I could have easily put one video, but um, since I have both of them, why not put both of them so you could see the difference for yourself? I mean, like I said, my butt is not that great, but you could see the little curves uh, starting to appear from, you know, my glutes and... Uh, it's starting to match my hamstring pretty much. So I hope you like this video. Please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.